guys are among some of the top defensive players in the country. Alabama's Landon Collins, Nebraska's Randy Gregory, and UCLA's Miles Jack. But where do they fall in the discussion for the Bed Eric Award? Well, hello everyone. I am Shay Pepler here inside our campus, inside our studios. And this morning, Monday morning, the very early preseason watch list for that Bed Eric Award came out. So alongside our managing editor, Pete Futek. Pete, I want to hear your top three favorites to win the Bed Eric Award. Let's go three to one. Let's start with number three. Who you got? I'm going to go with the flashy stats and the pass rusher. Starting with Joey Bosa out of Ohio State. That defensive line's phenomenal. Michael Bennett, the defensive tackle, is the best player on that defensive line. But it's an NFL NFL front four and Bosa is going to benefit from it. He's going to be able to run free, get in the backfield whenever he wants to. He came on at the end of last year and showed why he was such a superstar recruit in 2013. I think this year he comes up with double digit stats, comes up big in big games. My second guy, Randy Gregory out of Nebraska, another great pass rusher. He's going to do it all for a very good Nebraska defensive line that could be the second best in the Big Ten behind the, behind the Buckeyes. I think Gregory's going to put up huge statistics this season. And finally, the guy who's probably not going to put up the big stats, but is going to be the leader of the great defense for Alabama, Trey DePriest, linebacker. The tied linebackers don't put up the flashy, gaudy numbers, but they're great leaders, and they get all the respect for being the guy for the defense. And if you look at Alabama's schedule this year, they are going to put up some big numbers, shutting down teams cold, and DePriest is going to be one of the main reasons why. So let's recap that. we got Joey Bosa at number three out of Ohio State, Randy Gregory out of Nebraska, at number two, and your number one most likely to win the Bednarik Award is Trey DePriest out of Alabama. But few, are we missing someone? Is there a dark horse? Couple guys out there. My main guy is going to be Mario Edwards out of Florida State. Again, I'm going with the pass rushers. I do like those guys that are going to put up the flashy stats, and he's going to be on the big stage each and every week. Obviously, last year was about Jameis Winston and that offense. The defense didn't get quite enough credit this year, even though you got to replace a ton of players on that defensive line. Edwards is going to shine. He is athletic. He's the type of guy NFL teams want, and I think he's going to be one of those guys that each and every week we're going to be watching and saying that guy is a difference maker. Watch out for Mario Edwards. Mario Edwards out of Florida State. Keep your ear open for him. December 11th, we will find out who wins that. Pete Futek, thanks so much for the insight. Well, what about the most outstanding player in college football? Find out what Pete Futek thinks about who will take home the Maxwell Award. You can find that only on CampusInsiders.com.